Hello again. Uh, this is a Harbor Freight uh, nailer and stapler that I picked up a couple weeks ago. And after I used it, uh, there was a couple things I wanted to change on it and make it a little more user friendly. Uh, the first thing I noticed was there was no depth control as far as how deep a staple or brad was being driven. And I really didn't care for that. Uh, when I got into some soft material, that really drove in the brads too deep. So after I looked at it for a while, uh, what I ended up doing was right here, I tacked on a 440 nut onto the safety mechanism. Uh, and then I put in a uh, 440 screw, it's about an inch long, and on the other side I have a 440 jam nut. And what that allows me to do is I put the screw in or out depending on how far I want that uh, stapler brad to be driven in. And as you can see when I push up on the safety mechanism that screw will bottom up on the bottom of that casing. Seems to work pretty good. I'm not sure why they don't include that with the tool originally. Probably cost them another 25 cents to put that on there, but in any case. The second thing I did to this was the tool. Now, I'm the kind of person that no matter how hard I try, I, those tools are not going to be around when I need them or I'm going to lose them. So what I ended up doing was up on top here, uh, I took a piece of uh, rubber hose fuel line and I made a couple of uh, sheet metal brackets to go under those cap screws and drilled a couple holes through and the, the tools are on board. They're always with the nailer and I don't have to worry about losing them or finding them when I need them. Um, the other thing I did was I made a little wrench uh, so I can adjust the screw and tighten up that jam nut. So it didn't take too long to do this and hopefully it'll just make the, the tool a little more user friendly. So that's about it. Have a nice day.